This is a brief introduction to the Olympus compound microscopes that we will be using all semester. This is an overall view of the microscope. And this is how it should look when you are putting it away and when you take it back out. The cord should be neatly wrapped around the back here. The stage should be all the way up with the shortest objective over the hole in the stage. And then we would have the cover over the top of this. You can see most of the controls uh, for the microscope in this particular view. We will come back to this in just a moment. I need to show you something a little closer. So I'm going to move the camera. Here you can see the ocular lenses. There's two ocular lenses on this compound microscope. And that we can move the distance between those ocular lenses. This is called adjusting for the interocular distance. Uh, no two people's eyes are the same distance apart, so we need to adjust for the interocular distance here. This takes a little bit of practice. Uh, in addition to setting the interocular distance, we also need to account for differences in vision between the left and the right eyes. And this microscope has what's called a diopter ring. And this is used for adjusting uh, for the vision between your left and your right. When we're going to be doing our focusing, we're going to start focusing with the right eye first and get a nice clear image. And then we will use your diopter ring adjustment to be able to adjust for differences in vision between your left and your right eye. We'll show you that a little bit later with some more practice. Let's go back to looking at the, the parts of the microscope and describing a little bit of their function. Okay. So I've already shown you the ocular uh, lenses here and the diopter ring for this, and we have the arm. Attached to the arm are a variety of controls. We have our on-off switch for our light source. We have uh, a dimmer switch, sometimes called a rheostat, uh, here that allows you to adjust the intensity of the light coming from our light source here at the bottom. Uh, along this side and along the opposite side down here along the base here are the focusing knobs. You have a coarse focus on the outside, the outside ring. The coarse focus moves the stage up and down a lot. Set inside of the coarse focus is the fine focus knob which moves the stage up and down in smaller increments. You also have um, two stage controls here. The top stage control is this ring, and this ring, when you turn it, it moves the stage forward and back. And when you turn this ring on the bottom, it moves your slide clip left and right. So using a combination of these two things, you will be able to move the slide anywhere on the stage. Continuing underneath, we've already shown you the light source under here. Uh, right above that is something called the condenser. And you can raise and lower the condenser. We're not going to go over that right, uh, right now. We'll uh, save that for some more advanced techniques. We're going to start with the condenser at its uppermost position. The thing that you do need to note is on the condenser, there is a lever. This lever right here is able to uh, move left and right. And as you move it left and right, you'll be opening and closing the iris. And that adjust not only the light level that you have inside the, the scope as you're viewing it, but as you decrease the light, it also increases your contrast. Some of the things that we're going to be looking at in the microscope are very uh, transparent or translucent. Difficult to see some surface or sometimes inner structures of those things if the light is too high. Uh, we'll get to see that when we're looking at our aquatic and terrestrial microbes later on. Uh, but if we need to increase the contrast, we will actually close uh, this lever a bit here on the condenser to decrease the amount of light. That also increases the angle at which the light is bent, and therefore you get more contrast in your image. I'll show you how to do that a little bit later. Uh, right up here, attached to this piece here, is called a nose piece, sometimes called a turret. And on this nose piece, you will notice that there's a number of objective lenses here. There's an objective lens that says 4x. There's an objective lens here that says 10x. There is an objective lens here that says 40x. And another objective lens here, finally, that says 100x. So you can rotate between the different objective lens powers by rotating this nose piece or this turret. 
And when you get an objective lens seated directly over the hole in the stage, you will feel and hear it click. So as I said, we're always going to start with the shortest objective and the stage all the way up. In this configuration, it protects the microscope objective lenses the best way possible. So this is how you'll start. Uh, first thing you're going to do when you're using your microscope is you're going to need to plug it in. And after you plug it in, we're going to hit turn on our on off switch here to turn the light source on. You also will need to get used to cleaning your uh, microscope before you start. To do that we're going to use some of this uh, microscope cleaning solution and we're also going to be using some lens tissues. All you need to do is put a couple of drops of cleaning solution on there. You're going to wipe those on the objective lenses to clean them off and then use a dry section of the lens tissue paper to be able to dry that as well. You can also uh, wipe down your objective lenses, especially uh, the uh, finishing with the oil immersion lens, the last one, the 100X, because that could be the dirtiest. If you do happen to see any oil on the stage or any other parts of the microscopes, you're going to go ahead and uh, take that off as well because we don't want to have extra oil on the microscope. Let's put this back to the 4X objective and we will go through uh, the focusing steps here. Assuming that you have your interocular distance set properly and you've adjusted your diopter ring, you're going to uh, put your slide inside of a slide clip and I will show you a little close-up picture of this. When you put the slide in the slide clip, the left-hand corner of the slide is back up here against the, um, the slide clip. There's a retractable arm on this side, so we want the slide to sit flat onto the stage, and in order to put the slide in initially, we're going to retract this retractable arm to make room for it. Once we get the slide uh, all pushed up against the left hand side, we let go of that arm and that will hold the slide in place. Uh, we will then move our slide using our stage adjustments until the area that we want to look at is directly over the hole in the stage. So let me go back to this view. As I said, we will start with uh, the shortest objective here. Uh, your stage is all the way up. You're going to be looking through the slide, uh, looking at the slide through the ocular lenses here. And as you're doing that, you should see uh, your light in there. You're going to lower the stage until the slide starts to become clear. You're going to lower the stage using your coarse focus knob. After you've used your coarse focus knob and you get an image there, you're going to be able to fine tune that image using your fine focus knob. Once you get a nice clear image at the lowest magnification